back by popular demand. What are we doing today, Nathan? We got the beautiful, sweet, sweet, sweet blue oval back in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the GT back in the shed. Father Christmas, or Father Rodney, has come and uh, filled up the car full of parts. Yeah. <laughs> so we're working on this today. I'm pretty excited to work on it. Uh, we have a lot of stuff to do. We don't know what we're doing yet. So we're going to take an inventory of what's been dropped off and put in the car. That way we can figure out what we want to do. We have the engine, we have a gearbox, we have a bell housing out the back, but we can't put that in yet because we need to do the transmission tunnel, the brakes and stuff like that. So we need to know what's here before we can get a start and figure out what we're going to do today. Yeah, but we are working on the beautiful blue oval. Yeah, because what we really want to do is we want to get to putting that engine in. Yes, we really want to get to putting that in. But like I said to Michael this morning, maybe we should do the job we really, really, really hate and his brakes. Yeah. So we have a pedal assembly, we know that. We have a brake booster, but we've got to make sure everything else is there before we do that job. I'm pretty sure that is the dash mat. Oh, I'm screwing myself up here. You've made that look really difficult. <laughs> See, a lot of this build, like we said before, it's all coming through Rodney, and Rodney just buys everything brand new. pretty much brand new or recode. Because uh, he's doing this car right. Why it gave it to us, I don't know. <laughs> I was about to say. Oh, there's mirrors in here. <laughs> That's not happening today. No, definitely. I'm not drilling holes in that. <laughs> really careful of them. No, I'll put them uh, in a box and put them aside. Oh, the glorious shaker. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo, look at that. They are amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Maybe we should test it out. Oh, the glorious shaker. Oh my God. We've had a really productive day today. The engine's in. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> that looks sick, man. All right, that's enough horsing around. Let's get into it, eh? has a drawing of a break. <laughs> That's what we need. We need like a, you know that paint by numbers? We need like a build a car We need by a build your GT by numbers. Yeah. <laughs> so we've decided what we're gonna do today is looking at all the parts that we have out there. What we really wanna do is get that engine in. That's really all we care about. All these other stuff we're not good at. Engines getting in, they're not that hard because it's just putting in a couple engine mounts and especially when it's stock. And especially it's when it's that engine, it's literally just yeah, Pl plumb the fuel line to the sucky sucky thing yeah. and then put two wires and it starts. <laughs> exactly, and the engine is supposed to be in this car. Yeah. It's not like a conversion or anything. But before we get to that, we need to have stuff like the brake booster in, the master cylinder in for the clutch, all that sort of stuff needs to be in so that it's easy to work around while there's no engine in there. So we've got enough to do that we think today, so we're just sorting out what we have. Ooh, I do have something, I have a question for the GT guys actually. What's that? Should we bolt the extractors to the engine when we put it in? Or should we put the engine in and then fit the extractors? Because I'm pretty sure we have to lift the engine to put the extractors on. I can answer that for you right now though. Yeah. Put the extractors in later. You reckon? Because we don't have any. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't have any. <laughs> so that's our clutch master. Beautiful. So that goes there. Yep. How <laughs> tiny it is! I wonder if it'll fit a HQ. <laughs> well, in reference. This is a HQ master cylinder. I can tell you that because my master cylinder shit itself. <laughs> so I have to buy another one. Holy hell, what a difference. <laughs> master cylinder, look how tiny the brake booster is. We have a booster. It's a good little booster. <laughs> so that can go in, hopefully. Yeah. I sure. reckon these are. Mm, right. Oh, I don't know. This is the slave cylinder for the clutch. Oh. So it comes in a, see, it tricked me. So that's clutch related, so that can go there. Do you go in there? And it, oh, there you go. Okay. And it screws in there and then it must go on top. So, yeah. We do have a book. People have said we should get a book. We do have a book. We do have a book. We just can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I can go to potato. <laughs> so this, I think we're waiting on this for a while. Yeah, we were. So the reason why we haven't been working on this car is because we've had no parts. Yeah, it's not because we didn't want to. Yeah. We haven't had any parts, but Rodney's just done a big drop off for us, so. It's holy hell that is big unit. I know. <laughs> Damn, that looks good. Yeah. Looks real good. Yeah, it has to go on the outside. Yeah. I think. 
If so, we'll get that painted straight away. Yeah, yeah, I'll sand and paint it. Jesus Christ. I don't know what that is. But... In over your head yet? Little. <laughs> but we can only just uh, dive right in. So there's that plate there. Yep. So we remove the plate and there should be a hole behind there. Cool. So that goes like that. So, do you want to get that painted now so it dries? We'll put it in the sun, seeing so we know there is some today. Yeah. And while that's drying, we'll do the brake pedal assembly? Yeah. Cool, okay. All right, I'll paint this. All right. What you doing? Oh, uh, it's got a bit of rust and stuff on it, so I'm attacking it with the wire wheel. You love that thing lately, yeah, don't you? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I just wild wheeled the shit out of it. <laughs> Alright, so first thing we're going to tackle is we're going to get this pedal box out. But to do that, first of all, we're going to take the steering column back out. Yeah, please don't hit me in the head. Oh, it's only like the sleeve. We should barely get the back in. So, that out, this in. Yep. There's brackets everywhere. I know, that's what I mean, like... It goes right up. Do you find that, like, unlike the HQ, I know they're different errors, but there's just brackets on top of brackets on top of brackets? Look, it goes, there's a, there's a bracket there, then a bolt's there, then there's two bolts there, and then a bra bracket's at the back there. Yeah. Look at that. Just a lot of bracket shoot. I know, isn't it? You know what else is added to our disaster of all the bracketry? What? Spaces. Yeah, don't lose the spaces. There's two spaces sitting there and there. Can I get the extension? Yeah. So this bracket was holding it. Then there's these two spaces. And then these two there. All right. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee! That's what makes the manual all possible. Did we get it? Yeah, with a bit of sand in my eye. You need to get those glasses with the side panels on them. I know, yeah. I need to go get new ones. You can actually buy prescription safety glasses. Maybe that's what I should buy. Beautiful. Should we compare the pair? Yeah. See who has a larger home loan. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo. We got new bolts with this. Love it. Easy. It's the same thing. Four bolts. So it should be pretty easy to put back in then. Yeah, these are... They're studs. Cool, so we need two bolts for these. There could be bolts in there. Yeah, those two ones there, and then nuts on the back. Well, that's all right, because we can get these in to hold it. Yeah. While I can get these ones up here on, and then we can, I'm gonna go paint that bracket, that because we're gonna need that. Yeah, we're gonna need that soon. Like ASAP. We spent probably like, I don't know, 20 minutes trying to figure out where this went, because we couldn't find this on the diagram. But now we know where it goes. It goes in the firewall here because this is no longer used. These holes are no longer used, sorry. Someone's gonna tell us we put that in the wrong spot. We're learning a lot <laughs> from uh, the YouTube comments in this build <laughs> from Ford guys. They're like, nope, you did that wrong. <laughs> Basically, you can consider this series like we're just testing you Ford guys, just to yeah. make sure that you guys are on. You yeah, know. you know how they did it from the factory. Yeah. He's saying he wants to push that way, and I'm saying it's Right. We've all had two Ugga Duggers, so you know they're torque spec. <sighs> Lovely. That's it. That's that in. So now we have a skid pedal. <laughs> all right, so shall we move to the front and put the bracket on then? Yeah, we'll do the front and put the, the boosters on. Yeah. And the master. <sighs> Love the smell of the fresh paint. If anybody's ever wondering why Nathan likes to paint, there's your answer. <laughs> so. I've painted the bracket. It's nice and flat black. Probably do with another coat, but it's okay. All right, let's pop this in. Yep. You want to do the honors? Yeah, sure. Okay. Ow! Again, didn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's today's word of the day. We don't have a word of the day for the day. Ow! 
I'll get to the job. Alright. Let's get this in. It's all starting to make sense now. We actually, yeah. there's a website that we should have been using from the very beginning of this build, which is <laughs> Grand Tura. Tura, but it has like really good exploded diagrams. We should print them out because on the phone they're a bit <laughs> hard to read. How's that? It's got a cutout for the wiring line. Wow. They've really thought of everything, haven't they? Yeah. There we go. Oh, nice, Gary. Look at that. So, now that means we can put in our booster. Our booster is ready to go. I'll feed this through and then you're gonna have to feed the Yeah, rod. I'll have to feed it onto the thing. Cool, we're ready to put the engine in. <laughs> One thing I'll say about this is it'll be a lot easier to change this booster than on the HQ. Because you can do it from this side rather than doing it from behind the dash. The there we go. Alright, we don't have the push rod for this just yet. We're going to have to get one of them obviously, but this can go in. Because I'm guessing you can just put the push rod in from the other side, eh? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Does it fit? Oh, those are, things are welded on. I wouldn't expect them to be perfectly square. Yeah, I think... So we could probably drill out the... Drill it out a little, maybe. King's hammer? Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. <laughs> I'm sure you can do that. That's what the flat spot's there for. Oh, yeah. far out. I'll get you another spring washer. Hang on. You knew exactly what I was thinking. I knew exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's on. I was like, it's probably not a good idea to eat it from there, but that's fine. <laughs> I was only just love taps. Next up. You just gonna hold that? No, because it looks good when you grab it. You... Yeah. <laughs> oh. You're kidding. Oh. God, it <laughs> just fits past. Far out. Alright. Yeah. I got these two left over. I don't know where they're from. Spares. <laughs> like, wait. Like, wait, Whenever oh. you have stuff left over, you always like, what? Those gold plates, where are they? What place? Remember those gold plates? We were like, what are they? I know where they go. As we were on our adventure of discovery... It sounds like Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These blithering idiots. <laughs> <laughs> we found something. <laughs> we found where these go. No idea what they're covering up. The only thing that they're covering up is a hole. So we chuck them on and then when we get it wrong, we're going to pull them off later, we'll just pull them off. But <laughs> at least we know where they're supposed to be located. Alright, plates are in, for whatever reason they do. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to brake lines. Yeah. So now it's time to move from not hoist bay to hoist bay. Alright, we've changed our mind. We're not going over to, to the oh. hoist bay just yet. We're going to stay in not hoist bay. Stay in not hoist bay. Because we're doing the front brake lines. <laughs> because we haven't got the steering column back in yet and we just want to get them in before we put the steering column in if for any reason we're going to run some past it which I don't think it is a big deal but we're here, we might as well do it Plus, it's good to you know do some grassroots working on the ground No it's not No, it's not fun at all One thing that's really interesting to note about this car is there's no like uh, <laughs> that bloody torch the, uh, There's no like brake, separate brake distribution block or anything in this one for front and rear? No. It is all done in the master cylinder itself, in this model, in this setup. So, going by the information that we're reading, there are so many different setups, different kinds of options for this car. Couldn't tell you which one this one is, but... Nathan's having a hoot of a time. <laughs> this must go right in. Am I hitting something on the other side? I don't know, the diagram that I've got doesn't have anything that you can hit, so... It must go right in, like this is where it must go into for me to be able to get that. Yeah, it does, look. There. See where, look, that's where the grommet is. Yeah, yeah. It's going to go like that and it's going to go in. The silver looks good against the... Uh, purple? Pur purple? Purple? You'd think this would be fairly easy, you know, you've just got a bunch of lines that are pre-made to fit, but it's actually very confusing it trying to figure out really what goes is. where. But we're getting there. Do these clips? Yeah, boy. Yep, that worked. <laughs> Oh, I know how they work. How do they work? You pull these together, and these on the inside, it'll spread out. Oh, right, okay. I, I reckon. 
Work? Yeah, yeah boy, boy! Yeah. TD Restoration is about to hire us. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed That's too. That's a really clever that clip. That looks really good. Nailed it. I'm gonna get it. Cold leftover pizza. <sighs> yep, when you don't have time to stop because you work so hard. Yeah. Flip through a brake line, dude. That's us. <laughs> Now. Oh. <laughs> Should be able to hit the brake. Yeah, feels like a brake, brake pedal. So nothing in it. Oh, we can actually bleed the brakes today. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just opening a can of worms. <laughs> We've had enough issues with brakes lately. <laughs> As you look, <laughs> that is a huge div, isn't it? That is a big mamma jamma. Turn that. Notice how both wheels go forward. That means an LSD. Just for anyone that didn't know, this is a man's diff though. <laughs> this this is a man's diff. This. Looks good under here though. They painted it all. So this is what an LSD looks like, huh? <laughs> oh, gosh. oh, there's no calipers. What? Are you serious? Uh, Rodney, you need something. Well, we're going fast and furious, spec. <laughs> okay, so we've gone as far as we can with the front brake line. Maybe we're a little bit further off driving than we thought. Yeah. Definitely not going for a drive today, innit? <laughs> uh, to the back then, and we'll do the diff. Yeah, let's peek a little bit all up under the car and we'll do the diff and then I think we're, oh, yeah. Oh, take in the day we're done today. Uh, so, what I've done is I've mounted the brake lines. I've taken a guess at what is these P clips and what are these really flashy clips. But I just took a guess that these two here are the P clips and the rest are flashy clips because you can kind of see a bit of a witness mark as to where the brake, <laughs> brake line's been rubbing against the body. So now we're ready to go to here. I've mounted this thing that is mounted to this bracket. Yeah, we can mount this to the diff and then we can do our two brake lines and that's it. Cool. There he goes. This makes a happy man. This, it's just cobwebs everywhere. All right, so we've come up against another potential roadblock. So the bolt that holds the, what do you call it? The brake block, I guess? Yeah, the brake distribution block. Brake distribution block here <laughs> is actually a breather as well too. See that little hole there? Probably can't see it, but there's a hole right there. And the bolt is actually a breather that goes in through there and through that and then whatever. But we don't have that, that's on back order. We're waiting for that to come, so we're just temporarily chucking in this bolt. So we can at least get our lines in and we'll just replace that down the track. The brake lines, I've already tried test fitting them. They need a bit of... Um, manipulation. Manipulation. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this end in. What'd you do on your end? What do you mean? That's how it was. Nah, you can fix that. No, nah, I can't fix that. Pull it out and bend it down. Yeah, but it won't reach that then. Really? Yeah. It's ugly. It is, isn't it? All right, after a little bit of manipulation, we got that reasonably straight now, so it looks a lot better. Not so twisty. Yeah, Rob, we need shocks too. <laughs> oh. When you're watching this, Rodney, I hope you've got a list going up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And also uh, take note of everything in the background, like the bolts that aren't in holes. Yeah. <laughs> should, we just, should we just shine the light over the body and wherever you see a hole, <laughs> remember what bolt that was. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's probably it for today, I reckon. Yeah. Well, we've got uh, some main components in. We now have a clutch pedale. Uh, we have a brake pedal as well. So we put the whole assembly in. We've now got our booster master and our uh, clutch master and our brake lines ran. We're still missing a lot of nuts and bolts and clips and stuff, 
but hopefully that'll that'll come in soon. Yep. But we're getting there. Yeah. So that's we're calling it for today. Don't forget to head over to the website to help support the channel. Um, there's a bunch of stickers on there that you can uh, purchase to help support us. And also, it'll go a long way to have Michael buy an LSD. It <laughs> It'll go a long way for us to actually put a limited slip into Michael's car. A real one, not a pretend one. <laughs> see, mine had the factory, factory Ford tag on it that yeah, says see, LSD. No tag, that's, 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 that should have been the first sign right there. That was a big red flag. <laughs> and also, don't forget to head over to Burson Garage and head into your local Burson store. They will be able to help you out. And also the website with DIY uh, tips and tricks and sales. But other than that, all right, the word of the day. We're not, we're not doing a word of the oh, day. Oh yeah, there's no word of the day. If you have been watching the full episode and not double clicking, skip everything. Uh, <laughs> and also for the XY fanatics, uh, let me know if I need to paint that tank silver. It's really <laughs> driving me mental. It's really killing me that it's just raw gal. It's killing me. I want to know if it's silver or not. Yeah. I swear it's silver. If I get to paint it, it's going to be fun to paint. But anyway, we'll see you in the next episode. See you then. Oh, oh no! What? Pretty sure we wanted silver stripes. Oh. Or did we want gold? What no, color did we no, want? No, we want. I want orange, but he wants gold. Yeah, but oh, now. Oh, orange. Sorry. But now you can use them as a template to make the gold stripes, the orange stripes that we're going to put on. Hey, I can put these on. I don't know if these look old and cruddy because they're just gold, or whether it's because. Nah, the app tape's gone yellow. Probably should buy some new ones. I'm pretty sure they don't make gold anymore, Rod. That's it's going to have to be orange. Sorry, yeah. mate. We we really tried. The gold vinyl shipping container fell into the sea. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a GT Falcon, I'd still put a freaking sun visor on it. Of course you would. You put a sun visor on your patrol. Put a sun visor on every car, eh? Do not step on the brake line. <laughs> How much? <laughs> twenty dollars. I'll give you twenty dollars. I'll give you ten. <laughs> Why are we selling it to each other? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe just sit on top of the box so we can see. I want a little bit of a roll. No, I like it. I like it. <laughs> that was a approving. What do you call that? Look at you doing the your Dwayne Johnson right yeah, now. Yeah, the Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> the Rock. It's Jumanji. Now you do the. What's that sound that comes like? Oh, the. <laughs> what do they call it? Oh, what's Smolder. It? Smolder. Smolder. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! I want to watch Jumanji. Yeah, it's a good movie. Oh Jesus, Parkour! <laughs> We're not going to do a word of the day. Give us your hacks. Yeah, send us in your hacks below. What you do in the shed that you think is a workshop hack. Yeah. Because next week we're hoping to film an episode on workshop hacks. Yeah, give us your little hacks. Your garage hacks. Or Even the littlest things. Like not dropping things. Even the you. littlest things. Like having the automatic squirty air freshener in your toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at that engine up there while we're sitting here. I'm so excited. I wonder if people have figured out what we're doing with this engine yet. No. They probably didn't see it. Probably pretty obvious what we're doing, like yeah. a little engine like that. But yeah, it is. Have they seen what it's going into? You reckon? Mm, nah, I'm pretty keen to do that. Write in the comments <laughs> below. You've seen that as well too. Geez, a lot of people are writing in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. No word of the day. Just write in the comments. Can I get to painting this now? Yeah. I need to do stuff. <laughs> oh, that looks fun, doesn't it, Michael? Yeah, I can't wait to do with that. <laughs> Still half a beach in here. I thought we vacuumed this car. <laughs> It just same with my HQ, mate. After sandblasting it, the sand just continues to come. There's still a beach in here, and we we vacuumed this. What can I say? Life's a beach. All you need is a beer and some bubble bath, and you'll be in your own little XY jacuzzi. Yeah, I know. A TV. <laughs> um, I'm gonna hold the line. Oh. Hold the line. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Working my dick by the way to make leaving on our ex wife. We've got no idea what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> <laughs> oh, Damn, look at the size of that wheel cylinder compared to like what, you know, because now that we're experts. Yeah. And what we know is there should be around here a hole. Right there. There it is. And. Ah, oh, there it is there. The handbrake lever. Yep. Geez, we're good at disc uh, drum brakes now, aren't we? <laughs> so this is your, uh, this is the lever for the drum brake handbrake. <laughs> and the cable comes in through there and hooks in and it should be fine. We know all that now because we do drum brakes. See? Even though we put an open diff into, the L into what should have been the LSD. We've learned something. We've learned something. 
what's an LSD? <laughs> yeah, one, what's an LSD? And two, how to do a handbrake on a drum brake system. Jesus, I don't know what that piece is. Look at that. That wasn't in my one. Oh, no. What's that? It's like the cables that hold up the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Handbrake cables, Rod. Put that in your little notebook. Lovely.